Uh, okay, let's begin. So, hello everyone to a new episode. Oh, welcome to a new episode of Spelunky. It's very nice to to start doing this again. So, without further ado, let's get uh, playing. This is gonna be. I have a feeling that this is going to be the one. I have a feeling that this is where we will manage to, at the very least, get to hell. That's what I'm expecting. One of the saddest things about this game is that you. It's not entirely predictable exactly how far you're gonna get in any given run. Because. The difficulty of the levels that get randomly spawned that you will have to play in will determine how far you're usually gonna get. And because that's completely random, you cannot really ever know exactly how well you're gonna do it at any particular game. But with that said, I'm prepared at the very least to make some significant amounts of progress. The Fuck, are you kidding me? Well, whatever. So let's see how far we're going to get. This is gonna be a... Well, I'm hoping that this is gonna be a significant run just because I'm planning on getting far. In the last episode we've been having problems. Specifically we've been... Uh, uh, encountering issues with respect to to finding the black market we've been having a lot of issues on that end and uh, hopefully this won't be the case this episode the black market usually is, isn't that difficult to find but uh, last episode we've been having significant issues in locating it and uh, I managed to uh, miss it when I when, when I try to get to it, so that's annoying. Okay, so we won't be able to afford this. What the fuck just happened there? I kind of messed up, but I recovered somehow. So uh, that was pretty cool. Wait, was there a Kali altar up here somewhere? I thought I saw it. Was there a Kali altar? Doesn't look like there was. Did I just imagine it? I really don't want to use my ropes, but I, at the same time, I really want to go to a Kali altar if there is one. It could very well be that I just imagined that there was. Uh, I think I imagine it. Okay, let's uh, bring the dams all to the exit then. Since there's no particular place that we'll need to get to. Excellent. Let's move on. So we have 27 bombs. That's significant. We're going to need all of these bombs later on. If anything, I think that's n that's not enough bombs. You usually can't have enough bombs in this game. Like, the only time you can say you know, you've had enough bombs is when you have over 60 bombs, I feel. If you have anything under 60 bombs, more bombs could always be welcome. Fuckers are out. They're out and about. What does. Oh my god, he killed the fucking damsel. The bitch. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. So one's dead. Oh fuck! No, no! Oh god damn it! 
Okay, maybe that wasn't the run. <laughs> maybe this is gonna be the run. Uh, shit, the fucking shopkeeper just obliterated me. The, the bitch got out of his fucking shop. And I did not expect for him to do that. Whenever that happens, you know, you're in a tough situation. Like, there are the type of players in this game that don't attack the shopkeepers ever. Regardless of how much they need items in the shop. I don't really do that because I think shops are important. Are important sorts of, of uh, items. And even if I can't afford them, I genuinely feel like I need to get those items. It, re it really depends on the type of run I'm playing. If I'm just trying to get to Olmec... Usually, I don't need to rob any shops. Like, if I have the money to afford the stuff that I can buy, that's good. If I don't, then I'll just leave the shops as they are. I'll just buy whatever I can and then I'll just give up. And I, I, and I won't steal anything. But if I'm trying to get to Yama, I really, really need the items. Like, getting to hell is... An, a very difficult accomplishment to reach either way and you just can't afford to to play nice and safe or you just can't afford to buy stuff with all the money you've earned you kind of have to force your way through like as you need as many bombs as you can or possibly get like up right now I don't have the money to pay for this bomb box and regardless of what I'll do I doubt I will ever get the money on this level to afford all the stuff over here so it's either me attacking this guy and then stealing all his items in the shop or me foregoing at least some of these items and all of these items are necessary if you're gonna go to hell and try to beat Yama you need to have a shitload of bombs. If you don't have a shitload of bombs, you're just gonna have a bad time. So I'm sorry. There's no other way to do this. Oh fuck, are you kidding me? How did I mess that up? Jesus. I I did not rotate properly. Fuck. And I was doing so well. Well, I wasn't doing particularly well, but still, why did I use a rope? God damn it! I'm really not doing well uh, this time. No, I'm not picking that up. That's the teleporter. It's the teleporter is a uh, an activatable item, meaning that it's an item you have to manually hold in your hands to to use it. So uh, you can't grab other stuff while you're holding onto it, like the shotgun or stuff like that. And what the teleporter does is, is when you activate it, you get teleported a couple of... S uh, s some distance away. Not too far away, just a little bit away. The issue with the teleporter is that it's... Oh, are you kidding me? Two teleporters in the same fucking level? Let me see if I can demonstrate. Okay, so as you could see, it teleported me over here. And as you could see, I used it again and it teleported me into the fucking wall. So I died because I used the teleporter. And that was only after two uses of it. Like one use was fine, the second use just killed me instantly. So you generally don't want to use the teleporter. It's a suicide item. Like, that's what it is. It's it's not really practical in any sense. Had the teleporter been designed in such a way that you it wouldn't teleport you into the fucking walls or ground, then it might have been a slightly useful item, but even then it wouldn't have been amazing. The fact that it kills you as well is what makes it arguably the worst item in this game. Or if not the worst item, close to the first item. Why did I... God damn it. The crates in this game are really bad. Here's the... I forgot what the name of this item is. Uh, this 
item is named the machete. And the, the, what the machete does is that it's, again, it's an activated item, so you have to hold on to it to use it. And it basically removes cobwebs. But also, it kills the enemies. It's a bit more useful than the whip. God damn it. But not by much. Honestly, if you're going for an offensive weapon, I think the shotgun is your best bet. Why do I keep... I'm really doing badly right now. Like, really badly. I, I, I don't know why I'm playing so badly right now but it's really getting on my nerves grab this kill the spider okay can we get to the damn zone we cannot at least not via a direct path so we'll have to bomb our way into that place there are two crates. Let's hope they, these are useful. A fucking useless boomerang. And another machete. Like, for Christ's sake, just give me f some bombs or ropes or some consumable. Don't give me items. Like, items are one of the worst things you can get from a crate. Unless it's something really amazing, like the climbing gloves of the, or the jetpack. You generally don't want items out of your crates. You almost always rather want, in the ideal case, bombs or at the very least, uh, ropes. Can I afford this? Yeah, I can afford this. So no need to rob the shopkeeper. Actually, you know what? Fuck you. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. How did I... How? Oh... <sighs> this this really sucks I, I genuinely had no reason to attack him I just wanted to get back at him for all the times he fucked with me and he just I, I, I don't know what happened he just saw me trying to attack him and then he, he preemptively defended himself and threw me away like that's just insane really fucking hate this. I, admittedly, that's my fault for, you know, uh, for messing around. But still, you... You gotta give it to me, like... That shopkeeper was really good at what he was doing. You know what, fuck it. This is gonna be the killing spree. Even if I'm not gonna get you healed, this is gonna be my killing spree. I will murder every single shopkeeper, whether I need to or not. I need to get my vengeance out. <laughs> like, fuck this bullshit. This game is fucking me, the shopkeepers are all fucking me. You know what? I will get my vengeance, some way or another. So grab the fucking widget eye, grab the the pitcher's mitt. Let's get out of here. This is gonna be the run in which they will all see my vengeance. There's no way around it. I will murder every single one of them. 
Let there be a shop somewhere. Let there be a fucking shop. All right, I have the pitcher's meat. I forgot. I the pitcher's meat allows you to throw items in a straight line, either horizontally or the diagonally, depending on where you're facing when you throw the item. It's not in an arc anymore. Usually, without the pitcher's meat, you throw in an arc. With, with the pitcher's meat, it, it's always in a straight line. And it improves the range at which you can throw to, in, to basically infinite. Basically, you can throw stuff until they hit a, an obstacle and stop. Okay, so it's one of those shops. It's a kissing booth. Which isn't really a shop, it's more of a... Oh, come on. It's more of a... I don't know how to describe it. It's basically a place where you can get extra hearts. If, by paying. So, if I come over here and I, if I were to pay 8... $8,000, I would get a kiss from this uh, damsel, and that would give me one heart worth of health, of extra health. Now, I can go, but I can also just outright buy the damsel for double the price of a kiss. Like from 18, I would go to 12, uh, to $12,000. But by paying for the damsel, I can take her out of the shop and then escort her to the exit like I normally would, or sacrifice her. So basically, I can take the damsel with me without stealing her. I'm going to pay for this damsel. Because I want to. And I'm also going to fuck with this guy because I, I, I want to keep my promise of uh, killing him. Like, I don't give a shit anymore. I know I paid the money, so uh, it's kind of a waste. I was planning on killing him from the very beginning. But, you know, it is what it is. Avoid that. Okay, we're ready. Oh, fuck, I'm out of... Are you kidding me? I am out of ropes. Oh, this sucks. I... I, I can't believe this. I... I... Oh. I, I can't believe I was that careless. Yeah, as you can see, you can deflect arrows from arrow traps with your whip if you get the timing just absolutely perfect. Like, that was just a stroke of luck that I managed to get the timing perfect over there. God damn, this, this has been a terrible series of runs. I didn't even get to the jungle at any point. Like, this has been a completely mines only run. Also, uh, cobwebs can intercept uh, arrows, so that's usually useful. God, I can't believe I'm so... F God! Okay, this is the last one for today. It doesn't matter if I get to the jungle, it doesn't matter if I don't get to the jungle. I'm going to call it a day once I'm done with this run. Because honestly, this has been a terrible spelunky marathon. Maybe it's just a bad... a stroke of bad luck, but... Uh, to be fair, I did play terribly. But goddamn. I hate playing like this. You 
Yeah, I need to get to the Ujetai so that I can get to the black market. We didn't even get to the black market, that's what's amazing to me. Like, I've been playing just terribly. It's both bad, a combination of bad luck, but also bad skill. Because I've just been messing around with the shopkeepers, even though I shouldn't have. And, and all of them just obliterated me. Like, I need to be calculated and focused. I don't... I shouldn't get emotional over anything. Like, shopkeepers are there just to offer me items. If I can afford them, that's good. If not, then just murder them and steal their shit. That's how I should be thinking about this. Okay, let's open the Ujedai. Okay, so can I afford everything that's here? I... Uh, well, only the passives are the ones I'm interested in. I can't afford that bomb bag, so I'm just going to outright buy it. Fuck stealing it, I'll, I'll only be stealing when I genuinely, absolutely need it. Okay, L let's try to make progress. We are on one slash three. You know what? That's acceptable. I almost died on the spikes there. Be careful. Don't be an idiot. Don't take unnecessary damage. The only way to play this game is by being very calculated. Don't rush through things. Don't do things recklessly. Everything that you do has to have a purpose and be well calculated. Okay, so there's a Kali altar which is useful. I want all the passives in here. So spike shoes, yes. Bomb bag, yes. Bomb bag again, yes. The boomerang is an active item, which means I I have to manually hold it, like I'm holding this rock. And because you can't hold m multiple things at the same time, it's really annoying when you'll have to like, f for example, when you get the dark level and you get a torch at the beginning of the level, as all dark levels give you at the beginning. You can't hold on to the thing you were holding before, like in this case the boomerang and also the torch. So you have to pick one. This is why I hate buying active stuff. Unless I really need it, like the shotgun, which is for self-defense. When after I trigger the shopkeepers, I genuinely don't like to buy active items. This is a sneak peek level. I already have the Ujedi, so this should be fairly straightforward. Mm. How am I gonna do this? I guess like this. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That fucking spider, I did not see him. I'm... I, oh no 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 no, don't. I don't want to give up the damsel just yet, because there might be a Kali altar somewhere. And if there is, I don't want to give her up to the exit just yet. 
usually there, there aren't Kali altars around here, but it's best to check around. Yeah, there aren't any, so I'll, I'll just uh, move on. One of the best things about the the Ujeta is that it it also reveals the gems inside the ground around you, which is really nice. Like, uh, for example, this ruby. Normally, you wouldn't be able to see this ruby unless you have the uh, the glasses or the Ujetai. Right now, I have the Ujetai, so I can see this ruby right over here. So I can use the the mattock to mine for it, as well as this sapphire, for example. Like the 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 Ujetai has many uh, different purposes. But it's usually something you want to get almost every single time. Yes, there's the extra work of having to, you know, find the key for the Ujetai chest and bringing the key to the chest. But usually that's worth it. Okay, so what do I want? I want the spring shoes, the climbing gloves, the ropes, and you know what, I'm buying the mystery box as well. And I got the spike shoes a second time, which was completely unnecessary. But, you know what? I gambled, and I lost the gamble, but I don't mind gambling. Oh shit. I heard the blinking. The widget I just blinked, which means that... Yeah, I think I can see the black market entrance. There's a foliage of leaves just, in, just around that fucking altar. Yeah, that's cool. Let's get over there. Where's the damsel? I hear a damsel somewhere. I just don't know where she is. Ah, oh, she's down there. Okay. Yeah, I see it. I see it. It's over here. Place the bomb there. Bring the idol there to get extra money. And now dig to get to the damsel. And we, we have the Kapala. Excellent. Now let's go and grab the Ankh. So I don't have enough money for the Ankh. The Ankh is always $50,000. I'm at $40,000 right now. So there's no way I can afford it. So what I will do instead is just murder the shopkeepers over here. Because you know. That's the only way to go forward. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fucking Christ! Fuck you all. Fuck you all in the fucking ass. Excellent. You know what? I, I feel like I've got my revenge. Even though the shopkeepers have destroyed multiple runs of... Oh god, fuck! The bitch! Oh, the bitch just... Fuck me. Fuck. Okay. Thank you for watching.